friends, welcome back to Kim Pins. I hope you've been liking all the new content for 2022, but I'm here today with a more classic type of video in case that's what you'd like to see. Today, we are gonna be recreating a pin that takes polymer clay. Y'all know I have it. I've done a couple videos already with it and turns it into a tea light holder. So let's see how that goes, shall we? Okay, so I've got some white polymer clay. I've got some red. Is this sparkly red? This is sparkly red. I didn't realize that. I wanna use the red, I wanna do just maybe some speckles, see how that goes. Uh, so, and I've got some parchment paper because I have my protective cardboard yet again, but I, I'm gonna need the parchment paper so that the disc doesn't stick. Essentially what we're doing, we're doing a disc and then a long strip to kind of form the holder part for the tea light. So I'm gonna, I guess, just roll this into a ball, go from there, and then just kind of smush it out into a bit more of a disc that I wanna roll. And then I'm gonna take my red bits and just do, I think I want smaller bits. Just going for like a, a speckled look. When, you know, clay spreads out, I should probably do like tinier pieces. You all know me, I can't really do tiny. So this blue tea light here is actually a party light candle. Anybody remember them? I'm sure there's a more technical way to do this. But we're not here for technical. This is Kim Pins, y'all. You heard? So I'm gonna roll it out. I found my clay tools. Big news around here. I'm gonna roll it out into a big circle. Cut, I'm using a mason jar lid because that's what I have. I'm gonna cut my circle. I have no idea what this is gonna look like when I roll it out, but only one way to find out, right? Okay, so I've got my circle rolled out. I forgot I wanted to do this on the parchment, so I put the parchment down. I'm gonna cut out my circle, and my red dots are much bigger than I wanted. Okay, here's our circle for the base. Now we gotta roll out some more. Okay, maybe we don't need to roll out more. I think I can use reuse this part and kind of smooth it out a little bit to make the part that is gonna actually wrap around the candle. Also, I should mention, I don't think I actually read it's okay it's been a while since i actually read the instructions for this pin they might have not used polymer clay this side feels very stephen king's it so it's been a while since i read the pin and i forget exactly how they attached it to the bottom and i know you're saying kim why don't you just go read it are you new here if you are new here welcome so happy you're joining us Okay, so rustic. Rustic is what we're going for. This looks like a child did it. And you know, I'm not knocking your child's artwork, but I'm a grown adult who has taken ceramics classes, so. Okay, so I think that's as good as it's gonna get on the attaching part. It's gonna smooth out some of this stuff on the edge, or the flat part, so at least that looks nice. Okay, and there we go. That's done. I'm gonna bake it off in the oven, but I'm gonna do that after the video. Uh, so, Let's rate it. So, likability. I'm gonna give this particular one a three, and a lot of that was me um, in my execution. But yeah, you know, I feel good. I feel good about the three. Likability, cost. Cost was fantastic. I had all this stuff. That's one of my favorite parts about this craft. I did not get the candle holder part centered in that circle. That's gonna bug me. It's fine. It's rustic. It's rustic, people. Cost. Five, likability, three, ease of following instructions. I'm gonna, I'm gonna give them a five. I do remember when I read it, it was very straightforward, which is why I felt so confident not needing to read it again. And most of that's on me. And then should you make it or should you buy it? It depends on your level of patience and crafting ability. I think if you are a better crafter than me, then yeah, make it, this wasn't hard. And after making it once, I definitely th see areas where I could improve this. So that's a plus. But you know, if you're at a craft fair and you see a local artist that has one, buy, buy that one. But overall, I'm excited to have a tea light holder. I don't, I don't really have a, a candle holder that is specifically for tea lights. So I have that now and that'll be nice. So, you know, overall, I'm going to get the, mm. I feel like the parts where I am dinging this craft is purely based on my execution. So I'm gonna give it overall, I'll give, I'll give it a six, I'll give it a six. Polymer clay, a little bit of a pain in the butt to work with, but I don't remember if they suggested polymer clay in their pin. So there's that, so yeah. 
We'll, we'll go with that. I feel good about it. So that's this week's video. Uh, let me know what you thought below. Comment. Let me know. Do you want to see more of these videos? Do you want to see more of my other videos? Watch all of those. We've got tons of fun content going on on the channel. If you're new here, thank you so much for watching. Welcome to the community. Please subscribe. If you're not new here and you haven't subscribed, please subscribe. And if you like this video, like this video. If you didn't like this video, like this video. Again, subscribe. And I will see you in our next video. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.